So the Galaxy S7 is IP68 water resistant. That means it can survive underwater for 30 minutes at five feet. What I'm gonna do today is chunk this guy in my fish tank, not for 30 minutes, but for 90 minutes. Obviously, you don't wanna see the whole 90 minutes. That would be boring, so I'll speed it up for you so you get the picture. And now, with most phones, if they do get water damaged, you might not see this the side effects right away and just make sure you're subscribed to me because I do make updated videos you know I'll do a three month later video a six month later video and I will you know give updates on how this phone's working and if it stops working due to this water test you'll know but as of right now it's perfectly fine you see this phone survived being underwater for 90 minutes it's doing great now hopefully it will stand the test of time and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this other video I made about the Samsung Gear VR with the Samsung Galaxy S7. I actually ride on a virtual reality roller coaster. That's pretty cool. So I'll put the thumbnail right over here. And you can either just click on it, I'll put an annotation on it, or I'll put the link in the description below because sometimes I know that doesn't work on all devices. And I'm surprised one of y'all has not mentioned this thumbnail on the video. I've already uploaded this video and do you not see where I, my botched Photoshop job? It's just obnoxious. Whatever. It was too good to not keep. <coughs> I'm just surprised nobody noticed it. And that's it guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, one more thing I want to show you. After being dunked in the fish tank for like an hour plus, all the fingerprints are gone. This thing is a fingerprint magnet and now there's no fingerprints. So that's the key. Just wash your phone off in water. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? Bye.